Move over lightly salted and boring barbecue, we've uncovered some seriously inventive flavors of our favorite salty snack. From donor kebab and pizza to squirrel and chocolate, here are the most unusual varieties of crisps tantalizing taste buds around the globe. A burger-flavored crisp was always going to happen and Bohemia, the popular Czech Republic snack brand, made the dream a reality in 2014. Sadly it's no longer available but we imagine they tasted like a cross between grilled steak, cheese, and onion, and ketchup-flavored crisps. Walker's Cajun Squirrel Crisps were created as part of its Do Us A Flavor campaign in the UK in 2009. Members of the public suggested new flavors and the winner received a cash prize. This unusual flavor was inspired by a dish on a restaurant menu. The crisps had a gentle Cajun flavor but, thankfully, contained no traces of squirrel. A true celebration snack, these sparkling wine crisps from Spanish brand Torres are said to have fruity notes and a bubbling effect, due to the sparkling wine flavoring and popping candy. We also like the enticing and sophisticated packaging. Canada has bought the world many culinary delights but we're not sure these jalapeno mac and cheese crisps, which were on shelves in 2014, are one of them. While we love mac and cheese, we're unsure whether they'll taste different to other cheese-flavored crisps. Seaweed infused crisps may sound unusual but these nori flavored, wavy cut crisps from Japanese snack brand Jack and Jill Kalbi were hot overseas in 2016. Nori is edible seaweed which is often dried and pressed into sheets, and used for sushi. The salty, umami flavor lends itself well to crisps. If the thought of mixing sweet and savory is unpleasant, look away now. Kettle Discovery's salted caramel and double cream crisps were an innovative sweet flavor sold in England in 2017. Kettle Chips even suggested to use them crushed up as the base of a chocolate tart. Not one for vegetarians, this mousse meat and maple syrup flavor won the Lay's Do Us a Flavor contest in Canada in 2013. It beat pierogi platter, grilled cheese and ketchup and creamy garlic Caesar to the prize. The idea for the smoky crisps came about after the creator made a maple ham recipe with moose meat. These crisps take inspiration from the flavors of Welsh rarebit, a traditional British dish of toast topped with mustardy melted cheese sauce. Reviewers said the crisps, from UK brand Real Crisps, packed a real punch. They were available in 2015 but were discontinued after criticism over its marketing which played on Welsh mining stereotypes. There are western varieties of wasabi-flavored crisps but Jack and Jill Colby's version, on shelves in 2018, was the real deal. They were made from 100% real wasabi, had a fiery taste and went well with cold beer. We've heard of coffee paired with savory food like red meat, but cappuccino crisps are something else. They caused uproar when they were released for a limited time in the USA in 2014. One Twitter user asked Lays, what kind of food expert are you, and another described the crisps as gross. We'll stick to our morning caffeine fix in liquid form, thanks. Seafood, chili, and lime is a great culinary pairing so we can get on board with this 2017 flavor from Lays in Indonesia. We're not sure exactly what seafood is in them but we'd give them a go. Labna is a strange yogurt used in Middle Eastern cooking and these labna and mint flavored crisps are made by Lay's Arabia. Therefore no which means they're baked instead of fried. Reviewers describe them as creamy, minty, and garlicky, we imagine they taste similar to sour cream and chive. Part of British frozen goods retailer Iceland's 2018 Christmas range, these Christmas tree flavor crisps divided the UK. They were made with oil from real pine needles and our verdict was that while they delivered on flavor, they were a little grassy and bitter. Haggis and cracked black pepper crisps from Mackey's of Scotland are a gentle introduction to the traditional Scottish dish of minced sheep's heart, liver, lungs, oatmeal, onions, suet, seasoning, and spices. The crisps are described as sumptuous and moorish. But they don't actually contain any animal products so vegetarians and vegans can enjoy them. Snack lovers in Indonesia have access to a variety of unique Lay's flavors such as salmon teriyaki. 
The crisps were on sale in 2018 and we'd love to know how similar they tasted to the sweet, sticky dish made with ginger, garlic, rice wine, and soy sauce. Why do people think it's a good idea to turn cocktails into crisps? We love a raspberry bellini from time to time but can't help wondering whether raspberry or prosecco work with potatoes. The pink, limited edition crisps, sold in 2018, were unsurprisingly not kindly received. Spicy lobster barbecue crisps sound like they have it all. We imagine they taste like a combination of flaming hot, prawn cocktail, and barbecue varieties. They were sold by Lay's Indonesia in 2017 and we'll forever be envious that we haven't got our hands on a packet. Raclette cheese crisps conjure images of cozy Swiss chalets, log fires, and feasts with raclette cheese melted over meats, bread and boiled potatoes. We'd love to know if these crisps sold by Lay's Indonesia in 2017 delivered. It's not just any kebab on the packet of these limited edition crisps from Canadian brand Covered Bridge. The crisps, available in 2016, were inspired by the Donair, a Halifax specialty, similar to a donor kebab or gyro, with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, and special sauce wrapped in a pita. They were created with pizza chain Greco Pizza. Brussels sprouts are a divisive vegetable and we get the feeling British brand walkers made these Christmas-themed crisps for their novelty factor rather than an appreciation of the brassica. One thing is for certain though, when we tried them, they delivered on the Brussels sprout flavor. Part of the Lay's Do Us a Flavor Tastes of America campaign in 2015, Southern Biscuits and Gravy was a suitably regional idea. For those who aren't familiar with the dish, it's a popular breakfast of crumbly, flaky dough biscuits covered in creamy sausage gravy. The crisp is said to taste impressively close to the real thing. Probably the poshest crisps in Britain, these grouse and winberry crisps are designed to taste like game meat from the English countryside and winberries, a wild European blueberry-like berry. They were released to encourage people to try more unusual meats such as grouse and pheasant. These crinkle-cut, milk chocolate-covered crisps from Lay's Canada had such a thick coating of chocolate, they crossed the line from savory snack to sweet. They were a limited edition product released for Valentine's Day 2015 and are sadly no longer available. Tinned beans on toast is a classic British comfort food and in 2014, it inspired one of the crisp flavors in a Walker's competition. The crisps were produced for a short time but ultimately lost to pulled pork in sticky barbecue sauce as the public's favorite. A gyro is a Greek wrap with lamb, tomatoes, and tzatziki in pita, and these meaty flavor crisps were released as part of the Lay's Do Us A Flavor Tastes of America campaign in 2015. They were inspired by the finalists' favorite Greek restaurant in Wichita Falls, Texas. Pecan pie was a holiday-inspired crisp from Pringles in the US, in 2013. Consumers could enjoy the sweet seasonal taste of pecan pie without the hassle of baking. It was Pringles' second foray into sweet-flavored crisps, the year before, the brand released the unanimously despised white chocolate peppermint crisp. If you love crisps and you love pizza, Pringles pizza sold in the UK and US might be for you. The pizza taste comes from a clever blend of onion, tomato, garlic, and cheddar flavoring. Pringles joked that if you love morning after cold pizza, you should store the Pringles tube in the fridge. Genius. Lay's India's Magic Masala is one of the most promising flavors on this list and sure to delight curry fans. Masala is a spice blend and pairs well with potatoes in other dishes so we're sure it'll work with crisps. Try it for yourself. It's available to order online in the UK and US. The appeal of these salted caramel crisps, launched in 2017 by Jack and Jill Colby, is the same as sweet and salty popcorn, chicken, and waffles, or bacon cinnamon rolls. If the picture on the packet, perfectly crinkled crisps drizzled in caramel, is anything to go by, they look delicious. These cucumber crisps from Lay's are marketed as cool and refreshing but we're not sure we want that in a potato snack. 
The flavor was sold in China and it's still possible to pick up a pack online if you want to decide what you think for yourself. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos.